hello and welcome to your third tutorial in adobe photoshop so in this tutorial if you quite remember in our previous tutorial i showed you how to create your own new document from scratch but one will ask what if i have the document on my computer already and i want to open it if that's the case this is what you have to do you have to go to file and go to open now photoshop will allow you to browse through your computer and locate all all the documents or locate the document that you want to use for instance i have this two uh, folders this is a file and this is a folder on my computer and it's on the desktop of my computer if i want to open this one i would have to click on it and then i'll click open then it will open for me all right so another way you can do this is go to file maybe you've opened the file recently normally photoshop gives you um, the first 10 documents that you've already opened so if i click on this is the last thing that i we just open if i click on it automatically it will open for me now the next thing that i want to talk about is opening objects as smart objects if you open an object as smart objects you can make additional or you can make some changes to it of it we will discuss further in the subsequent videos so if you open an image in smart objects like this this is how it will look like you have something here if you click on if you double click on this one you're going to have another size of this document open in a new form in photoshop all right so now i have opened this image right over here and uh, in the next tutorial i'll be talking about how you can use the various tools how you use these tools right over here to work on documents like this but then i want to show you a trick here anytime you open an image in photoshop most of the times as you say you have this little lock over here it indicates that the the layer is partially locked so to unlock it you have to double click on it and then you make a new layer so if you want to name the layer you can name it otherwise you can just leave it and click ok and it will create a new layer now the eye over here indicates the visibility of the layer so if you click on it it will turn off and if you click on it again it will turn back um, so the next tutorial i'll talk to you about how to use the various tools for example this is the move tool and if you take the move tool and you grab any layer it will just move the layer or the document from where it is positioned and to give you a quick one on it you select something like this lay this tool over here and make a selection like this you can get this part and when i turn this off you see we have this part over here so that that is what i will be discussing with you in the next tutorial so i hope you stay tuned to this tutorial like and subscribe to my channel visit my facebook page and like also and we will get going so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next tutorial